government regs. Government okay. regs. Daniel, I would like to introduce you to my dear friend, Abijah Cratchfield. There Welcome, you go, Abijah. Yay. How are you? And he's I'm a local well. boy from Galco Rock. <laughs> I am born and reared in North Central Arkansas. Reared. That's yes, right. That is the proper way That's to say That's the proper way to say it. My mother taught me that <laughs> when I was... Damn. I always say born and raised, but that's good enough. Mm -hmm. But now you're living in Hot Springs, working for the Arkansas School of Math, Science, and Arts. That's correct. We're actually part of the University of Arkansas, and um, that happened a few years ago. Yes. So um, doesn't help me with any Razorback tickets. Okay. I tried that. Uh, all right. <laughs> we are part of the University of Arkansas. Um, we're a residential high school for uh, juniors and seniors. You apply mm -hmm. your tenth grade year. Um, one of the qualifications is that you have to be an Arkansas resident. We're one of only 14 schools in the country that is like us. Um, I don't know if anybody's heard of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's a new push um, in education that we've been doing since 1993. Okay. So when someone gets ready to apply, do they need to be nominated by anyone? No. Um, Arkansas resident, okay. 3.25 GPA, 10th grade. We don't have a um, minimum ACT requirement. Our incoming class usually averages about a 24.4, okay. so you can kind of gauge where you are um, in regards to that. Um, you can go to our website, asmsa.org, click on yes, I'd like more information, and we'll send out a packet that goes into more detail. But those are some of the basic qualifications. Just basic 3.25 GPA. Do you n then need letters of recommendation? Three letters of recommendation, okay. one from a science teacher, one from a math teacher, and one from an English teacher from either the ninth or 10th grade. Okay. And what are the fees associated with going to the math and science school? The most it will cost is $350 per year. The most. The most. If um, that is a problem, we have scholarships to where no child has ever been turned away because they haven't been able to afford the $350. Okay. And that covers tuition, room and board? What does that cover? We actually don't charge anything for tuition or room and board. Um, okay. It goes to cover activities fees, science lab fees, things like that. Laundry, you don't actually have to, we don't have coin-operated coin laundry systems. You can do laundry every day of the week if you want to. Hmm. So there's, a, I think, $40 in that $350 that goes towards that. So there are dorms that these students there are in. dorms. We have brand new dorms that will be opening fall of next year. Mm -hmm. That will be suites. There will be two people to each room and then four people share a bathroom. And we can have up to 150 people per class. That's 75 boys, 75 girls. That's what we try and keep it to. Um, but thanks to um, Governor Beebe, we have new dorms that will open next year. Hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, and you said this came about in 1993. Legislation passed in 91 under Governor Bill Clinton. Hillary actually championed it mm -hmm. and opened our doors in 93, first graduating class in 1995. Okay. Have you seen um, benefits like your, your um, graduates have gone on to? Harvard, Yale, MIT, Caltech, some of the um, average schools that we see every year. 60% mm -hmm. of our graduates stay in state. Mm -hmm. A lot of them go to UALR, University of Fayette, um, Arkansas at Fayetteville. They recruit hard from us because mm -hmm. they know what our students can do. Um, our average exiting ACT score last year was at 28.8. The state average was a 19.9. <laughs> so our incoming <laughs> juniors... 28, 19.9, okay. So you can kind of see um, we had 86 students graduate last year. We're offered over $15 million in scholarships. Mm. So how you can how see. important is this for a student that wouldn't have the opportunity. What would happen to the student if they didn't have something like this? I mean, you, you have such high scores and everything. It's, it sounds like it's, yeah. it's really cultivated. It is. Um, I, I know when I was in high school, I didn't know about this opportunity. I actually um, ended up going to a private school so I could graduate early. I met Miss mm -hmm. um, Davenport at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so I, I started that way and kind of skipped out on some of the high school stuff. But all of our school teachers in, at ASMSA have at least master's degrees, 30% have PhDs. We have a teacher who used to teach at UC Davis, um, known for its agricultural program. He teaches biology and has a PhD in biology, which is kind of neat. We offer a lot of classes that um, students don't have opportunities to take um, in their normal high school. Vector calculus, um, genetics, um, thermodynamics, Greek, ancient Greek literature, um, heroes and villains in literature. Um, I know we're known as the math and science school, but hist um, humanities is our largest department, mm. um, and we're, we're working on expanding that as we speak, too.
So mm. this is really a place where we're trying to pull in, our, you know, Arkansas's best and brightest. Yes and no. Yeah. Our students, we met with them, and we always say they're the best and brightest. And so they said, no, we're not. We're the ones who saw, it, saw a challenge and decided to t accept that challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they said, we're not necessarily the best and brightest, but we saw a challenge and we took it, yeah. took it upon well, ourselves. What a great opportunity yeah. it, for, it for these to be able to. Is there a point, I mean, uh, when they go through the process of applying, uh, do, you, it, it, do you have to turn people away? I we mean, do. do it's more competitive for females than males because we have more female applicants. And um, one thing that students should also know is we offer 160 hours of concurrent credit for free through UALR. So they can, a lot of our students in, enter college as sophomores, some enter as juniors. Um, they can also participate in sports at our school, something that a lot of people may not realize. We um, are partnered with Hot Springs High School, so anything they offer, our students can do. We have students that are going to be on the football team this year, basketball, baseball, soccer, tennis. Um, but they have to maintain a certain They do have to maintain average. their grades. Um, I think anything above a three point, mm -hmm. and they should be able to participate, mm -hmm. participate in that. For parents, we have 24-7 security. Um, students can check out in groups of two during the day, four at night. We have something called resident mentors, which are college graduates that actually live on campus with our students and are there if any problems arise or if they need somebody to talk to, something along those lines. Um, so they're not just kind of on their own. They actually have some mm -hmm. support system there, and too. Like said, these are just juniors and seniors, right? Just so juniors the, and seniors. most of them have their own transportation, so they do have a car, or is a that... Lot of do, a lot do. Some don't. Some even have their cars but just don't bring them. Um, our resident mentors on weekends will take students to the mall, to the movies, mm -hmm. to do different things do like that. Do they typically go home for the weekend like a lot of college students, or is, or is... Some do, some don't. We have required weekends. The first weekend that they're there, they are required to stay, and that's just so they can get to know people, make mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. get used to the environment, things mm -hmm. like that. And then, like college, there are weekends they have to go home. Thanksgiving, they have to go home. Labor Day weekend, they had to go home. They'll have to be home over Christmas. Mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. How can they find out more information about this? ASMSA.org. Um, you can go on there, click yes, I would like more information. I'll send out a packet to, to you. Um, you can go on our Facebook, facebook.com slash ASMSA.hs.ar. Um, we always have stuff going on on there as well. And, right. and once again, we want to, everybody to understand that the fees are nominal if they exist at all. That's correct. If um, your child is on free or reduced lunches, there are no fees. There are no fees. Mm -hmm. There's so just a little bit of paperwork to fill out to, to get that way. So Excellent. it's a wonderful educational opportunity, and it's available for everyone. Yes, it is Good. a public. We are a public high school. Um, students are actually remain part of their high school. Their test scores come back to their local school. They can go to their, their high school prom. They can walk at their high school graduation. We have prom and graduation at ASMSA as well, but they're still part of their local school. Excellent. Wonderful. Abijah, thanks so much for being here. Great information, and there's going to be more information at the end of the show, so if you want to check out... I Go forgot ahead. I will be at Bridge Bash on the 24th with okay. a booth. So if parents or students oh, have, with a booth. Okay. have questions, Good. I will be there and they can come and see me. All right. Excellent, excellent. Well, Thanks hi. for being here. Thank you. Yeah. We'd like to thank all the people who have been on the show today. Jeff Quick, Jimmy Edwards, uh, Kirk, Chelsea, and Austin, excuse me, and then okay. Abijah. I just flex my bicep. Your, your I just guest. flex my bicep. Wow. Ooh, look at that. You need to stay. Stay right. tuned, yeah. people. Stay tuned for watch the your, Watch your get huge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. So we'll see you again next time. We're out of time. Stay with us uh, next time. We'll see you later. See you next time.